a day in the life of a Russian billionaire. When it comes to a prosperous country, it's often assumed to be Russia because of its wide land area, population, and other resources. In the 90s, when communism dissolved, the great majority of state-owned assets were split among a select group of wealthy, well-connected individuals. They basically inherited the majority of assets that had previously been under government control. A small percentage of Russia's population controls a disproportionate amount of the country's wealth. These aren't the 1%, they're the 0.00001%. Welcome back to Luxury Bay. Don't worry if you're unfamiliar with these massive undertakings, we've got you covered. In our video, we'll tell you about what goes on in the daily life of a Russian billionaire. Let's get right into it. 1. Vladimir Potanin Vladimir Potanin is the richest man in Russia, with a net worth of $26.1 million. Born on January 1, 1961 in Moscow, his father was a diplomat. Therefore, he ended up studying international relations. Norilsk Nickel, the world's largest refiner of nickel, is led by this 61-year-old businessman. Potanin owns 34.6% of Norilsk Nickel, which had $11.7 billion in sales in 2018. Norilsk Nickel produces around 22% of the world's high-grade nickel and approximately 40% of the world's palladium. According to Bloomberg, as of January 2018, Potanin received almost $4 billion in dividends from the corporation. Potanin co-founded Onexim Bank, which controlled industrial behemoths. He's also a member of the Russian Union of Industrialists and Entrepreneurs, a group that submitted a proposal for alternative cryptocurrency legislation to the Prime Minister in October 2018. He now has shares in Petrobax Farm, a pharmaceutical company. In 2008, Potanin bought the 248-foot Anastasia and sold it in 2018 at a price of 75 million euros. Other than Anastasia, he boasts a collection of yachts, including Nirvana and Barbara. Nirvana has six decks, a large swimming pool, and a helipad. He's often reported to be playing ice hockey with Russian President Vladimir Putin. 2. Alexei Mordashov With a current net worth of $23 billion, Alexei Mordashov is Russia's second richest man. After 19 years as CEO in Sevastol, Alexei Mordashov retired in 2015. Sevastol's largest shareholder and Russia's fourth-largest steelmaker is Mordashov. Although he sold all of Sevastol's North American operations a year ago to concentrate on the Russian firm, he also owns roughly 30% of TUI Group, one of the world's largest travel and tourist conglomerates. He's chairman of the World Steel Association and also shareholders at the Rossiya Bank. In 2018, U.S. sanctions were imposed on power machines, a Russian power equipment manufacturer having a joint venture with Siemens. Mordashov, the son of mill workers, ascended through the ranks of a steel mill's financial department. When it comes to yachts, Mordashov is no newbie. Among his accomplishments are Super Yacht Nord and Yacht Lady M. He has a private jet bombardier Global 6000 with a price list of $60 million. 3. Vladimir Lysin Vladimir Lysin is the head of the NLMK Group, a major steel product manufacturer. He worked as an electrical fitter in a coal mine in Siberia, before moving to central Russia to work as a steel worker. Later, he worked as a factory manager for the Transworld Collection, a group of dealers. He acquired a majority ownership interest in the Novolipex steel factory after the partners parted ways in 2000. Lysin also owns First Cargo, a railway operator, as well as a number of ports and shipping enterprises. In Lysia Nora, close to Moscow, Lysin constructed one of Europe's largest shooting range complexes. Zenit Bank's board of directors had Lysin on its board of directors. In 1998, he was elected to the board of directors of Novolipetsky Metallurgical Combine, one of Russia's major steel enterprises. Lysin bought the 16th century Aberuchil Castle in 2005 for around $11 million. The house showcases 13 bedrooms, a farm, a billiards room, and forestry of around 705 acres. 4. Leonid Mikkelsen Russia's wealthier citizens together lost $39 billion the day after Russia invaded Ukraine. Vanjin Alekparov, the head of the Moscow-based oil giant Lukoil, was overtaken by Leonid Mikkelsen, the founder and director of natural gas producer Novatech, as the greatest loss. In 2017, 
He increased his share in petrochemical business Cyber to 48% by purchasing a 17% stake from Putin's former son-in-law. Gennady Timchenko, a billionaire with close links to President Vladimir Putin, is known for his partnerships in both Novatech and Cyber. Mikkelsen started his career as a supervisor for a construction business in Russia's Tyumen region, where he was working on a gas pipeline. He resides in a large house in Barvika, Moscow, with his wife. Along with this, his wife, Lyudmila Mikkelsen, bought a $15 million house in Miami. He also boasts a luxury yacht, the Pacific. He owns a private jet, the Gulfstream G650. 5. Alisher Usmanov Usmanov was born in Uzbekistan. In the years leading up to the Soviet Union's demise, Usmanov became a millionaire. He originally became wealthy by creating plastic bags, which were so scarce in the old Soviet Union that consumers cleaned and reused them. USM Holdings was founded in 2012 to consolidate Usmanov's holdings into a single transparent holding company. Through Gallagher Holdings, later USM Holdings, he's bought holdings in Australia-based mining companies Medusa, Mount Gibson, and Aztec Resources since 2006. In 2021, USM and Metallo Invest announced plans to build one of the world's largest HBI eco plants in Russia's Kursk region to produce greener steelmaking goods in response to an increasing focus on the industry's cleanup. In 2018, Usmanov sold his 30% ownership interest in Arsenal Football Club for around $700 million in cash. Apart from that, his lavish lifestyle includes a 512 foot yacht, which is valued at around $600 million. With one of the largest swimming pools, a beauty salon, a gym, and two helicopter pads, he owns two estates in the UK, Beechwood House in London and Sutton Place in Surrey, both valued at approximately $280 million. He owns a private jet, an Airbus A340, and he named his jet Borken. His wife owns a Dassault Falcon 7X. 6. Andre Melnichenko Andrei Melnichenko is a Belarusian SSR native who was born on March 8, 1972. His parents were both teachers. He was a student at the Lomonosov Moscow State University's Advanced Education and Science Center. Melnichenko co-founded MDM Bank in 1993 when he was 21 years old. The bank went on to build a derivatives market and debt products, as well as buy currency on the interbank foreign exchange market. Melnichenko was on MDM Bank's board of directors from 1993 to 1997. Being an industrialist, he owns the majority of Eurochem, a fertilizer company, and SUEK, a coal energy corporation. His first business venture, which he established in the 1990s, was a chain of currency exchange booths. The money he made in banking was then invested in the fertilizer and coal businesses. Over the last 15 years, Melnichenko's firms, which employ over 100,000 people, have invested $23 billion in fertilizer and coal production. His luxurious lifestyle includes a large Boeing business jet and has a list price starting at $80 million. He owns two super yachts, Moti Yacht A and Sailing Yacht A. He owns a villa in Camp Dantim and a penthouse in New York for $12 million. 7. Viktor Vexelberg Moscow Transportation Engineering Institute is the place where Viktor Vexelberg received his bachelor's degree in 1979. He then went on to work at a state-owned pump company as an engineer and research manager. Viktor Vexelberg, an aluminium mogul from Ukraine, made his first million by selling scrap copper from worn-out cables. Suau Holding was formed in 1996 after he purchased numerous medium-sized aluminium smelters and bauxite mines. He merged it with Russian aluminium, owned by billionaire Oleg Deripaska to establish UC Rusal 11 years later. He was a partner in the oil business TNKBP with billionaires Mikhail Fridman and Len Blavatnik until 2013, when he sold his stake for $7 billion to state-owned Rosneft. He resides in Switzerland and owns a house in Moscow. He also boasts a yacht named Tango. 8. Mikhail Prokhorov Mikhail Prokhorov bought Russian state-owned metal assets at prices significantly under market value in Russia's controversial Loans for Shares privatization scheme after the end of the Soviet Union. Norilsk Nickel, his company, grew to become the world's largest nickel and palladium producer. He's former head of Polyus Gold, Russia's largest gold producer, as well as the former president of Onexim Group. 
he sold a 49% stake in the Brooklyn Nets to Alibaba executive Joseph Tsai for $2.3 billion in 2018. The sale of his interest in metals major Norilsk Nickel in 2008 contributed significantly to Prokhorov's income. He has investments in the Russian electricity, insurance, and banking industries. One month before the U.S. Treasury issued penalties against UC Rosal, he sold his last block of shares in the firm. He owns a 95-meter yacht, Palladium, with a crew of 33. Along with that, he owns a $70 million Airbus A319 private jet. He's the owner of a large villa near Nice, named Villegrange sur Mer. That concludes today's video. If you liked our video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you always get notified of our regular uploads.